Hi, thanks to one of my viewers, Brian, for sending this one in. It's kind of funny and kind of sad at the uh, same time. And it comes from Popular Mechanics. This 91-year-old inventor's new big idea could extend battery life by 30%. Sound familiar? Um, Larry Udall, good on you, Larry. Um, seriously, good on you. Is in a race against the clock to bring his battery savers concept to market before it's too late. He's come up with something that could revolutionize modern electronics, an invention that could extend battery life by up to 30%. If it takes off at scale, he says it could revolutionize everything from regular AA batteries and space rovers to spe military special forces and electric vehicles. Uh, does this ring a bell? Anyone? Beulah, Beulah, Beulah. It's Batterizer um, all over again, or Batteroo as they uh, change their name to. Uh, look, their website, I haven't checked on Batteroo in a while. They're still going. I've still got Probes the Monkey. Here he is. Yes. Um, and yeah, this is just batter Batterizer um, all over again. So this is an article in Popular Mechanics. But Larry here is smart because he's only claiming um, extend battery life by up to 30%. And that's more realistic because I've done videos busting Batterizer who of course famously claim they're 800%. It's 800% baloney. And we actually tested it. Um, for those who don't know, um, there were actually videos on my EV Blog 2 channel over here where I actually got these batter, they actually did deliver. And it really is quite nice engineering, actually, how they've integrated the circuitry into here. And uh, yeah, it's, and yeah, we busted it right open with the actual, repeating the actual toy train test that they did and on an MP3 player test. And no, um, spoiler alert, it actually uh, reduced the battery consumption, not gain. But in theory, it's possible, yes, you can get some extra energy out of dead uh, batteries due to the cutoff voltage of uh, some, the cutoff voltage of some modern electronics, which may not be low enough to extract, you know, the tiny little part of the curve over here. So anyway, this is like a real fluff piece um, over here, and it goes like it's all part one, and it's all, you know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's all about, you know, his story and everything, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. I love character stories like this, so it's worth a read, you know. Um, so good on Larry. He's actually designed uh, this thing. But, you know, if we go right down to the bottom here, he um, it, it ends with, uh, and of course, he wants to see battery savers commercialized before he passes. A prospect looming ever closer. Waking up every morning, he specially says, you make a choice, I choose to appreciate it. Tomorrow, it could all be gone. Unfortunately, it already has been commercialized in the Bataroo, and it was a complete and epic failure. I don't think they um, got the Kmart order that they, was it, was it a Kmart order that they were <laughs> longing for? Yeah, it's, no, no, it's failed. Once again, I won't go through it. I'll link it in down below. You can read it. It's a good character piece and stuff. And they've got an expert. If battery savers can deliver, its approach could be essential to enabling longer service time or reducing battery mass. Andrew Abbott, a professor at the University of Leicester, whose work focuses on solving such big battery problems, tells popular mechanic. Well, obviously, uh, Andrew hasn't heard about the batterizer uh, <laughs> because it's already been commercialized and man, and in like a really good, as I said, like it's really good technically how they've integrated the circuitry on here. Um, this is the absolute best possible implementation you could possibly get. They even developed their own custom ASIC uh, chip for it, which is actually really good um, in its own right, but still increases battery life up to 600% now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> and of course, competing with Big Battery. Where have we heard that before? And I was accused in a national newspaper in print of being paid for by Big Battery. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's great. It's good stuff. Anyway, Big Battery. Battery savers could revolutionize our lives, but there are hurdles. The biggest challenge is from big battery companies themselves. They operate at a massive scale, and it's in their best interest to have more products on more shelves. A longer-lasting battery means fewer batteries solved. Udell team hopes to get one of these companies to trade volume for loyalty. If that happens, the savings could be a windfall, not a loss. We could make this ourselves, but we'd much rather license the IP. Uh, it helps that battery savers is market ready and requires no additional research or development. It's market ready. 
Um, not really. Batterizer is market ready. In fact, you can buy the chip from the ACE custom ASIC chip that works down to 0 0.5, 0 0.6 volts, um, startup voltage or something like that. It's really quite uh, good. And uh, yeah, this one's just, um, no, um, unfortunately, that is not um, commercial ready. I mean, Batterizer have already, year, many years ago, have integrated this right into the top part of the battery there. They've integrated all that circuitry onto the top here. So un unfortunately, no, this is not uh, market ready. Look, they've even used a through hole jobby here. They've got, like, on, on, yeah, you know, this is a great little concept. And look, hats off to Larry, okay? I, look, I, I don't want to criticize Larry. He's doing a good job, but obviously he's not aware of the batterizer. And this is batterizer 2.0, and they get drag out some expert to claim, yeah, you know, this will be revolutionary and stuff like this, and big battery, of course, you know, because it gets the clicks. And oh, goodness, like, no, 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 no. And of course, they have to mention EVs, don't they, to get the clicks. Electric vehicles could be one huge opportunity. In 2017, over a million EVs were sold. In 2018, that number doubled. By 2040, electric cars are expected to make up more than 50% of all new car sales. That means manufacturers need to rethink how to power these vehicles. Experts, experts say, like this expert professor, here at the University of Leicester, if battery savers can deliver, its approach could be essential to enable longer service times or reducing battery mass. Whether or not this professor was actually talking about in response to EVs, I mean, sure, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's not. Because a, pro like, a professor in, in battery uh, stuff like this, battery solutions like this, should know this has absolutely no relevance whatsoever to the peak power demands of EVs. It's just it's just insanity. Like it's bullshit like this that goes into articles. It uh, Anyway, it tells you about Larry's early 20s and stuff like that. So have a read. And there's Larry and his wife. Like, really good on him for, you know, developing this and being so passionate about it. Don't want to take anything away. But I thought it was worth a video just to, you know, look, popular mechanics, they, if they did their research, they would have easily found batterizer. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Where does it search in the Google um, <laughs> search engines these days. But yeah, anyway, it already commercially exists. There's nothing special here. It's a DC to DC converter that uh, just takes the um, the low battery uh, voltage down because when the battery, here's the graph here, when the battery, when the cell voltage plummets, it plummets really quickly. And you know, there is some energy, which is the area under the curve there. And it can actually, yeah, you, you can extract a bit more. And I, you'll have to watch my previous batterizer videos if you haven't um, seen all that. But that's, yeah, I've done many videos on that. And uh, yeah, in some cases, as I showed in some of my tests here, it actually performs worse. Um, like in this toy train here, I have it going around a track with and without the batterizer. Um, and the batterizer, yeah, it didn't go as far. Like it's, you know, that, that was one of their claims. So I tested it with an actual batterizer in there. But for some applications, yeah, where you can't build the active electronics. See, and the thing is, there's nothing special here at all. Okay, it's a DC to DC converter that operates as an early prototype uh, that operates down to, oh, geez, the, <laughs> use a little bit less solder but you know it doesn't matter but anyway this is a problem that um, every electronics design engineer knows about when you're designing a product it's a trade-off do you want how much of the energy do you want to extract from the batteries how much effort do you want to go to to extract an extra you know five to ten percent of the energy in your uh, disposable alkaline battery or something if you're using the rechargeables of course that you know if your product's designed for that that's a different uh, solution again but uh, yeah like you can already build this capability into products there's 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 no ip to be commercialized here if you want to go really really low yeah maybe battery will sell you there like um <laughs> a converter that goes down to 0.5 or 0.6 volts but there's other converters on the market that go down to like 0.8 or 0.7 and lower um and yeah you can just use these off the shelf devices it's there, there's there's nothing here it's a non-issue. Engineers know about this stuff. There's not some new magical IP as bloody popular mechanics are trying to make it out that, yeah, this guy's inventions or the Bataru invention, as they made out, it's going to save the world and everything. No, no, it's not. Um, it's just a DC to DC converter that operates down to a lower voltage. And yeah, in some applications, um, even Bataru struggled, absolutely struggled to find and demonstrate an application 
where this actually had a major advantage. You remember the GPS test? I've still got the GPS somewhere. I never got around to doing their test, but they actually um, uh, you know, did the key presses on it, and it turns out that they were using it in a different battery mode for nickel metal hydros. I can't remember the details, but um, yeah, it, it wouldn't have got even that example. They were struggling to find examples where their whiz-bang technology up to 600% was originally 800 and then it just kept going lower and lower <laughs> and <laughs> extract up to 600 percent and they really couldn't find a case i think there was one uh case with a um, high power uh digital camera which of course you know you whacked uh, like old school cameras they actually had double a's in them i've still got mine you know you whack double a's in there and um yeah if you use primary double a batteries in you know a high power device like an old school digital camera then uh, yeah they can you know the pulse currents and due to the esr of the battery um at you know lower in the battery life the esr increases and you can get problems like that but even then they struggled to find an application where they could demonstrate this 600 percent. but for ev almost everything 99 point something percent of everyday products aren't going to benefit from this uh, battery thing. And they're not going to benefit from this either. So, yeah, sorry, Popular Mechanics, and um, sorry, Larry, but um, yeah, I didn't. Larry's a legend, right? L Larry Udell, read the article down below. Terrific life and terrific working on this, right? He's done really well, right? He's still still killing it at 91. Um, unfortunately, he just hasn't heard of the um, batteries. I hope he doesn't watch this video, actually, because now he goes, oh, someone's already done it, um, and it's really good. And it still doesn't really do much, but at least he's realistic because he's, you know, <laughs> Larry's, you know, he's like up to battery life up to 30%. And that's probably, yeah, that's a decent claim to make, um, I think. So, yes, yeah, it, it certainly could, but we can, as design engineers, we can already incorporate these into the products if we so choose. There's no you know technology here like he's obviously he's not des developing a custom asic like uh batterizer batteroo um did so he's got you know just off the shelf oh, it looks like he's doing this discrete tranny solution there on the thing is he i don't I know external switch and i don't know what chip he's using there but we saw it uh on the through hole yeah look <laughs> through hole jobby on the top there but he's obviously using an off the shelf uh chip and i'm sure it's you know it gets uh decent performance and uh uh, stuff like that, but yeah, any design engineer can build this into their products. So, um, unfortunately, yeah, batterizer is still busted, and um, so is the um, and battery savers. Yeah, you might be able to get up to thirty percent. It's a realistic claim. Good on Larry. He's he no uh, fraudster. He's um, yeah, being he's a, just a realistic engineer. Thinks he's got a solution here. Um, and yeah, anyway, link it down below. Good on you, Larry. Catch you next time.